guys, so I recently went and saw Paranormal Activity The Marked Ones, and this is not technically a legit Paranormal Activity movie because they are working on a fifth one, and this is actually the first Paranormal movie that did not come out in the month of October, but filming took so long, it, they closed, or they ended filming in uh, July 2013, I can't speak today apparently, so they had to push it to the release date of January 2014, so it is the only one not released in October. And this movie actually had the lowest box office turnout than any of the other ones, which I'm not surprised because it wasn't really marketed as a, a paranormal activity movie. It was, but it's different. I didn't get the whole different point of it. I don't know why they made this one, to be honest. Um, I, I just don't understand why they chose to make this one and just not make it the fifth one or what's different about the fifth one because there were cameos in this one of the previous Paranormal Activity films. Um, Katie was in it and she's the only one out of all the characters that has been in every single Paranormal Activity movie. Um, so they kept that consistent. So basically it's about a guy who lives in these kind of shady looking apartments, just kind of like, you know, not a good area. And one of his neighbors dies and he's stupid and decides to go in her house and go through her stuff. It's a crime scene. I mean, she was killed and he decides to go through it and in the process finds a picture of himself and just weird things start happening to him. You know, he gets the bite marks on there. Um, just strange things like the Simon Says game starts like answering his questions with the red and green yes and no, uh, which I thought was weird. I don't know why they added that in there. I don't know if demons would like use a toy to talk to people. My boyfriend made a good point that this movie is a little bit racist we found and I agree. It's, I don't know, it's... <laughs> I, I don't want to like go into it, but I do feel like it's a little teensy bit racist towards Hispanics. Like they have to live in a bad area, they have to have tons of guns and weapons and be in gangs. Regardless though of all that, I did actually like this. It was scary, some of the parts were very scary, and of course the suspense is high because it's a paranormal movie, so every single movie of paranormal activity relies on suspense. Basically the demon starts to overtake Jesse, the main character, and he begins to have violent outbursts and just like different things happen that he just can't control. So basically he's becoming possessed by this demon. And the marked ones stands for the practice, it's a witch practice, of marking the woman, uh, the pregnant woman of um, a baby, obviously. And they put the symbol on the stomach and basically it marks the baby as to be taken as the firstborn by the devil or the demon or whatever. So it is tied into kind of um, the other plots of Paranormal Activity. Now the weird thing about this movie is the end. So I am going to talk about the end. I don't really think it's a spoiler or anything like that. I mean, it was kind of shocking. So I understand if you don't want to finish watching this video, but um, I wanted to talk about it. So basically he finds this door because they talk about something about opening the entrance to an unholy place and that's completely vague. You have no idea what they're talking about. And he finds this door and he goes into it and it's like he time travels or something. He has to have time traveled because these events take place I think four years after the events of the first Paranormal Activity movie which as we know it goes out of order completely. So he time travels back to the house of the first movie and we see basically the ending of the first Paranormal Activity movie where she goes downstairs and she starts screaming and then where Katie goes downstairs that is and starts screaming um, her boyfriend you know rushes downstairs and she comes back up bloody with a knife and that's what we see in the first movie. Well in this one we see the end basically of what happens in the kitchen. So she screams at the guy because he op he comes into their house and um, he's like, I don't, what is this place? And he sees her and he's like, excuse me. And so she screams because, not necessarily because she's scared, because she's possessed or I don't know. And um, so then we see her boyfriend come down and then she has a knife 
and she stabs him. So we see that whole thing take place, which I loved. I thought that was really cool. Um, my boyfriend didn't love it so much because he hasn't seen any of the other ones except for the fourth one. So he had no idea what that was or what the relevance was. So yeah, if you haven't seen the other ones, you probably... It's not that you won't enjoy this movie, it's just it'll take away a little bit from the experience, I think. So, as I've always said, Paranormal Activity is a theater experience, so while you have a chance, if you're a fan of the other movies, I would see this one. I think it's worth seeing. It definitely wasn't up to par with all the others, I'd say. I never think that these movies are really that spectacular anyways. I enjoy them, I enjoy seeing them in theaters. Um, and I like watching the story develop through each movie. But they're not, you know, A movies, I don't think. You know, they're just, they're entertaining, but they're not the best movies ever. I mean, if you have to have the movie be like the best movie ever to see it in theaters, then don't see this one. Um, but if you just want to spend 10 bucks or whatever deals you have in your neighborhood, um, then go see this one because I really liked it and I think it takes away when you wait for it to come out on DVD because it is a theater experience personally. It's so much more scary and you're just more absorbed into the film itself when you're in the theater. But let me know if you've seen this one, what you thought of it in comparison to the other ones or just as a movie in itself, um, what you think about it. Um, are you excited for Paranormal Activity 5? I'm really curious to see what it's going to be about. I don't know that they've released any trailers and I'm not sure when the release date is. I hope it's this year around Halloween time. Typically the Paranormal movies come out around Halloween in October so I'm hoping it's this year. I would be sad if we had to wait till next year. I'm going to look that up but um yeah, I hope it's this year. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this review and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.